This is an open source template, and let me know if you'd like to contribute some code. So first we're going to copy this here so that we can clone the repository in VS Code. Head over to VS Code, open repository, we'll paste it in, and we'll clone it. Just pick where you're going to save it, and wait for it to be cloned, and then we can open it. Now with it open, we need to look for the .env file, the .env file right here, and this is where we're going to do all of our configuration. Just see where it says database mongodb string here. We need our mongodb string, so head over to mongodb, start an account or log into your account, create yourself a cluster, there's where your cluster name will be, and hit connect so we can do our connection string and connect to our application. There's our connection string, copy. We'll move this back to our .n file, we'll paste it in, and we need to change a few things. The db name needs to be the name that you put in there. Mine was video4auth. And we need a password. I know my user's name is demouser2, but that's also my password. Make sure this is your password. There's a few other things here. Make sure you change this JWT secret. It's very important. This is what encodes your JSON web token. This expires in 14 days. This is the math for 14 days in milliseconds and node env is dev. We're going to build our dependencies now. Just open the terminal, split the terminals, cd into the client folder, run the yarn command, and then head back to the main folder and run the yarn command again. And we'll build out both the dependencies and we have two dependencies because it's a full stack application with a back end that has the server and the database and the front end that is the client. That's what we CD'd into. When this is done, we will continue. So in the main folder, I'm going to run the app that's yarn run dev. Here is our project. Let's check out a few of the features. We have a secret root here. So that secret root on top is going to give us access to a secure route. And it will not because we're not logged in now. And that is how secure routes work right now. So if you're not logged in, you can't have access to secure routes. And it says that you are not authorized to view this content when it comes back with its JSON to the front end. Now we need to sign up a user so we can see what's in that secret route. So I'll sign up a new user and I'll give it a password of password and just sign up. And here we are, we have some data coming back again. So this data comes back with a lot more information, one being success. We have the token, we have a user with all this user info inside of it, the ID, the token, the email, everything that we need about the user. And let's make sure that this user is in our database now. We'll go to our cluster, our collection of users, and this is definitely the user we just made. Perfect, that worked great. So let's head back and look at a few more features of this. Now we want to be able to pass a cookie to the front end and that's what we did in order to authenticate. This is the JSON web token right here. Now if we log out, we're still going to have a JWT, but the JSON web token is going to be expired and it will not give you access to that secret route anymore. Still not authorized, no good, no good. So what happens when we do get into that secret route? Let's log in as the user that we signed up as. We'll log in and now we'll have everything we need again. You could see that there was a token passed down here and there it is. Here's your status and token. And we'll use that token to go ahead and take a look at the secret. There it is, so what does it say? It says secret content shown, that's perfect. That's what we wanted to see. So when you're logged in, you can use this route. When you're not, you can't get the information from this route. And Redux Dunk is built in and working already. And you can see what's happening here. We have our sign up and in there we have all the information for our user, our logout, all the information for our user is gone. And then log in, all the information from our user is back. If you'd like to help out with the project, let me know and please star the repository. Thanks and I'll talk to you soon.